How's it going, guys? It's DJM Slayer, and I'm here for a reaction video. What would I be reacting to today? Well, as the title suggests, it's going to be Final Fantasy 16. So, the big backstory on my part, I didn't actually. My first Final Fantasy game was Final Fantasy 15. So, with. Uh, I did kind of play the demo for Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returned, but it didn't really have that big of an impact. It did influence me getting 15, but it didn't really do much. Lightning's hot, by the way. Yep. Okay, so. We're going to be discussing my thoughts on this trailer for Final Fantasy 16, and we will also be discussing how 15 really kind of put a stomp on their entire fan base. Uh, the way the director for 15 ended things was on such a sour note that it just it left a lot of us in... A weird spot, <laughs> to say the least. And then right after, we got a 7 remake to try to bring back fans. And it did for the most part, and it still in some way left people devastated. Um, we was announced that um, a Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 is in the works, where they'll finish off what exactly wasn't there, supposedly. I don't know a whole lot. I didn't really get too much into Final Fantasy VII. I did kind of like the new battle tactics, so I didn't have to sit there. Ugh. But, without further ado, we're going to get into this trailer, as it's longer than most. the target, Shiva's dominant, and only the dominant. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders, we follow them. Sergeant, let's summon their icon. Icon? That thing's a bloody mountain. their mother crystal easily this will be a bitter fight you should not be out of doors we have discussed this come joshua your father will be expecting us i am joshua's shield i'm sworn to protect him Your sword to our cause. What does it matter? It was the Dolmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The legacy of the crystals.
with that, guys, uh, we're going to start the discussing now with Final Fantasy 16. So, for starters, uh, for, oh. for starters, from what I've gathered from just doing a little bit of research prior to this video is that the only thing we have on Final Fantasy 16 is very little, uh, which makes me to believe it's in early stages of development. But at the same time, from how much content we we even saw gameplay, and that makes me think it's further than what they're leaning on. Or maybe they're just trying not to try to pull a Scott Coffin and just won't say anything. Fucking Scott. But for the most part, uh, from what I've gathered so far is that all the characters now have names and their names have been released with the main character that you're playing as is named Clyde. Um, also that this is a PlayStation 5 exclusive and they have not said anything about a PC release a or an Xbox release. It makes sense in its own regard, but, uh, Final Fantasy 16, it, it, lo it looks like it's going to have promise. It has a lot of the same features that 15 did when it, from what it looked like, it came from combat, from phasing through attacks to the way the character moves to just about everything. The, the 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 lighting the the CGI just everything looks pretty much there and it also kind of looks like you're switching weapons on the go kind of like how 15 was and that's pretty damn cool too that they kept it uh, we also saw some elemental fireball abilities and we also saw something that looked like wings guessing it's the Phoenix which is right there that's, that's my theory you know and whoever this darker Phoenix is definitely the Fucking bad guy. Go figure, right? Yeah, dumb question. Uh, now, to Final Fantasy 15, as 16 didn't really have a whole lot of going for it, uh, my theories behind it is... I got nothing. Um, something happened, someone got killed that released the power of the child, that released the Diablo, which is causing whatever chaos is going on. Um, I was left with more questions from this trailer than anything. I don't really have a lot of theories. I just have a lot of fucking questions that can't be answered until fucking later when they announce more information on the damn shit. Um, so to Final Fantasy XV on that aspect, what they should not repeat is repeat what the director of Final Fantasy XV did. If you're gonna do DLCs for this game, Square, or Sony, don't overdo it. And don't promise things that you can't uphold. The director had a problem with that with 15. He promised that we'd get two season passes. We were going to have a Luna. Oh, whoever that big boobed hot chick was. We, we were going to get freaking three more DLCs on top of it. With Noctis actually getting his own DLC. I personally have no idea what the flying fuck that would have been about. I honestly... If I had to guess, it was probably going to have to do some of his childhood where you're going to play as Kid Noctis through the most of whatever the f fuck it's related to. With Luna probably describing what she was really doing throughout the entire game. Um, the movie pretty much fucking helped the what happened prior to the game. But what she was doing too during the game was still a mystery. Along with a lot of the mysteries behind that really battle-oriented chick who was working for the... for Niflheim the entire fucking time. Um... And... All we ended up getting was an episode of Arden, and the rest got scrapped because the director quit because he was getting so much hate. He was getting a lot of hate because the updates were okay, the... Episode Ignis, Prompto, Gladio, and even the Comrades Multiplayer, which was eh, um, was all decent enough. It, like, we weren't complaining. We were getting the fillers that we needed to answer some questions of where the fuck Gladio, Prompto, and Ignis fucking went, and how did Ignis go blind for fucking instance? But, but what the fuck, you know? So it explained it. But then he changed the ending. He outright took the main game and added a second fucking ending. Why? I don't fucking know, but that definitely destroyed his reputation as a fucking developer. I'm not sure why 
he did it, but everyone thought it was fucking stupid. I think there was very few people who were just like, yeah, that's pretty cool. No, 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 no. Anyone who played it at launch, or played up till that update, we enjoyed our ending. We enjoyed the way it ended. It made us cry. It made us feel like the bo- we actually had bonds with characters. And then you threw that shit in our face. And... I didn't play the other ending. Now, in fact, I haven't even beaten it again since that fucking update because I'm scared shitless that I'm going to get to it, see the other ending, and go, I'm fucking done. Chances are the other ending has everyone living or not saying fuck it and giving Arden a throne. That's my theory. I actually have no idea. Like I said, never played it. And I don't really want anyone spoiling it for me. That's my theory behind it. I'm going to keep it right there because it's either Noctis is losing. Noctis is saying, okay, Arden, you can keep it and the world stays in darkness. Or maybe it ends differently and for some fucking reason no one dies. I don't. No. But I know for a fact, Ignis, Prompto, Gladio, and Nock all died at the end of that fucking game. They all just... They died. To say the least. Nock just definitely fucking died. He, he was in the fucking outer world when he killed the motherfucker. So... Not that... Yeah, we all cried. Um, but due to the director's mistakes, Final Fantasy really took a hit after that bullshit and with everything they were doing. 15 really wasn't what people were expecting. I guess they were trying to abide by the next generation of people and what everyone's playing. Don't get me wrong, I love the game. Just it, it was almost like he was trying too fucking hard. If that made any damn sense to anyone who's watching this fucking video. Um, and then we got a Final Fantasy VII Remake, which was its own thing entirely. There was people disappointed because it was too short. Just to find out Square had an entire plan all along, they purposely made it short and was going to make a part two. Um, they've done part twos like this shit in the past. Fucking Final Fantasy XIII had three parts. It's still too many in my damn book, but I mean, it, whatever gets the damn story across, I guess. Um... I'm looking forward to it, but I have a lot of questions that hopefully get answered at fucking E3 for Squ- Square Enix's E3, or at least Sony's E3. Maybe we'll get some more details on what the flying fuck this trailer really inclines. I will look at dig some more, but besides the names of the characters and a little bit of the background, and honestly, it spoils a little bit. It it seems like it does from what they end- what they released. It just I'm gonna try to do shit without spoiling it. Basically is what I'm saying. Um, if you have any theories about what this can mean, or if you just have comments to make about your opinion on Final Fantasy, or just how Square has been handling this entire fucking scenario with Final Fantasy as a whole, um, comment below. If you like the video and my analogies, hit like. And if you want to see more of these reaction videos and keep up with my theories, and I might be correct with State of Decay's, with all of that in the next game to go, uh, please hit the subscribe button. I also do Let's Plays um, of Dead by Daylight and hopefully Persona and State of Gate 2 coming soon while this is being recorded. So, uh, anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on whatever video you watch next. Yeah.